بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد whether it's the DOCA in deception of COVID which we worried about who engineered what which wave when what planning what strategy what thought process what's the end game it may be a concern but a greater concern is the bigger DOCA the bigger deception of Iblis and Shaitan where after seeing so much turmoil seeing so much destruction seeing so much death seeing so much conditions and halat after seeing all of this here a person doesn't take lesson and recognize Allah then there's no person on earth more deceived that a person who is blind of seeing Allah after all these conditions. So are, the, are we in 2020 still 50-50 with regards to the awamir of Allah, the commands of Allah? Or are we 100% engaging? Ulama are not saying don't take medication, don't take precaution, don't visit a doctor, don't get hospitalized. What they are saying is, where is our heart going at that point in time? Where is our attention? Is Shifa in the hands of the creation or is Shifa in the hands of the Creator? We need to evaluate and assess our lives. So now it's the holiday period. We had the lockdown period. Did we increase in guna, in sin, in ma'asiyat, in disobedience? Or did we increase our amal and our taluk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Was our connection more with the cell phone, more with the internet, more with the tablets of dunya? While many is searching for the tablets and the vaccines, for external maladies and the tablets, electronic tablets of our external, the tablets of Allah, Quran and Dhikr, are we taking the medication of Allah? Are we following the musicians, the sports players, Hollywood, Bollywood celebrities or my Nabi, Janabi Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Are we more on WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, or making more tilawat of Qur'an? Have we become so numb of the ma'asiyat and the flagrant violation of the awamir of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that our own family are committing haram and we are relaxed and comfortable when my mother, my sister leaves the house with her body parts exposed, do I have the dhyan and the awareness of what condition, what circumstance is to come in akhirah, ariyat, kasiyat, ma'ilat, mumilat? They will dress up, they will go scantily dressed with the intention of attracting other men. They will not smell the fragrance of Jannah. Are we more concerned about the salt in our food or the flames of Jahannam? Have we valued the amal of Nubuwa or the ringing of coins, the fluctuation of gold and silver in the stock exchange, the crash in market value and properties? So detail for these amal was discussed in the survival guide with Allah's Fadl. May Allah give us tawfiq of listening and practicing. Awha Allah ila malak min al-malaika. When this guna and ma'asiyat in our own families does not affect us, then Nabi alayhi salam has explained a story, an incident, where Allah told an angel, Aniqalib manitna kada wa kada. The certain village, wipe it out, destroy it. قَالَ إِنَّ فِيهِ عَبْدَكْ فُلَانْ لَمْ يَعْسِكَ طَرْفَةَ عَيْنٍ The angel exclaimed, 
O oh Allah, there is a servant that has not disobeyed you for the blink of an eye. So the angel was told, start with him. Start the adab with him. Turn it on him. Why? فَإِنَّ وَجَهُ لَمْ يَتَمَعَرْ لِي سَاءَ قَتُّ That his face never showed any signs of displeasure. He never had a gram in his forehead. He was consoled. This is a person who was an abid where the farishta and angel acknowledge his accolade. Yet Allah said, start with him. And that was the locality. Ajnabi, strangers. Yo, what is my level of ibadah, my level of taluk in connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And in my own household, people are not reading Fajr Salah and I'm not perturbed about it. Inna nas إِذَا رَأَوْا الْمُنْكَرْ فَلَمْ يُغَيِّرُوهُ When evil is taking place and people change it, O shaka, a يَعُمَّهُمُ اللَّهُ بِقَابِهِ It is possible soon Allah will wipe them out. Nabi was asked that أَنَهْلِكُ وَفِينَ الصَّالِحُونَ Will we be destroyed? When there are pious people amongst us, قَالَ نَعَمْ إِذَا كَثُرَ الْخَبَثِ When evil and sin and ma'asiyat becomes common, then prepare for Allah's adab. إِذَا ظَهَرَ السُّؤُ فِي الْأَرْضِ أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ بِأَهْلِ الْأَرْضِ بَأْسَهُ When guna becomes rife, then Allah takes matters in his own hands. So amal in this free time, in this COVID time, in this era of history where the world is perplexed, every fraternity has put their hands down. Hamare bas ki baat nahi. Scientists Educated people are baffled beyond human comprehension. So, Amal, Inna Allah Yaqul, Inni Laham Mubiahadi Ahli Al Ard, Adab, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala is ready to dispatch Adab before the Adab descends. Fa'idha Nadar to Ila Amari Puyuti. I look at the houses of Allah, the Masajid. وَإِلَى الْمُتَحَابِّينَ فِيَّ And those people who meet do good for each other for the pleasure of Allah. No غرز. وَالْمُسْتَغْفِرِينَ بِالْأَسْحَارِ And who is there crying before Allah repenting? So these are the amal that will stop adab. Covid is shutting down the amal of the masjid. Now people want to meet each other, mutahab bi nafiya. And at the time of Sari, people are watching movies, Netflix, they busy with their Twitter and their Facebook. Saraftu anhumul adab. If these three qualities are in any ummah nation, I will prevent the adab from descending. I will prevent the adab from descending. We need to check our amal, we need to check our lives, we need to introspect. وَكَذَلِكَ نُوَلِّي بَعْدَ الظَّالِمِينَ بَعْضًا بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ That after seeing so much and you still don't, Allah sends different forms of calamities. One form of calamity is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends one oppressor over another oppressor. مَنْ عَانَ ظَالِمًا سَلَّتَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ You help somebody who is oppressed. You help the oppressor. Allah will send somebody to oppress you. You leave the deen of Allah, you are oppressing Allah. Allah will send oppressors over you. Ibn Kathir rahimahullah says that 
Allah will subjugate an oppressor on an oppressor. As the Shair says, وَمَا مِنْ يَدٍ إِلَّا يَدُ اللَّهِ فَوْقَهَا وَلَا ظَالِمْ إِلَّا سَبِيلِي بِظَالِمْ There is no hand, but Allah's hand is above it. There is no hand, but Allah's hand is above it. Sickness is from Allah, cure is from Allah, health is from Allah, wealth is from Allah, poverty is from Allah, everything is from Allah. Just heart, just mind, the soul needs to turn to Allah. وَلَا ظَالِمْ There is no wrongdoer, but they will be tested by another ظَالِمْ Allah will subjugate one ظَالِمْ over another ظَالِمْ بن كثير كذلك نفعل بالظالمين نسلط بعضهم على بعض We'll put one oppressor over another We'll destroy one through another وننتقم من بعضهم ببعض جزاء على ظلمهم وبغيهم because they violated the commands of Allah and they rebelled against Allah they rebelled, rebelled against Allah أَفَأَمِنُوا مَكْرَ اللَّهِ فَلَا يَأْمَنُوا مَكْرَ اللَّهِ إِلَّا الْقَوْمُ الْخَاسِرُونَ are we comforted, relaxed in, in, in satisfaction of the planning of Allah? Those people are the biggest losers who do not know the value of Allah. Sometimes children rebel and they say we'll walk. Somebody falls in love with a girl and the parents give them the ultimatum, it's our rule or the door. And this jahil, ignorant, nabalig, minded child opts in opposition to the key to Jannah, his mother and father. Flagrant violation for somebody that he just met over the internet. For three or four months, he is ready to compromise his mother. He is blind of all his parents' sacrifices. He is ready to compromise dunya because when that parent makes badwa, write it in gold, write it in platinum, write it in titanium, you will never see happiness ever. We are not even talking about akhirat. He is signing not a death warrant, he is signing his own torture chamber for a makhluk. How, how is the plotting of shaitan? And we see it normal, cases are coming all the time. So and so eloped with this girl, they ran away. Many a time the message is passed, so and so girl missing. They are not missing, they intentionally left. So this Doka and this Jialat, we need to come out of it. So like how the child thinks so he's going to walk and he's going to get it away. We break the commands of Allah and think so we're going to get away with it. فَأَذَنُوا بِحَرْبٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ You signed one interest and action. You've declared war with Allah. As in Basir Allah used to say, الْمُؤْمِنْ يَعْمَلُ بِالطَّاعَاتِ A believer does good deeds. And he is afraid, he is worried, wajil, khaif, he's in anxiety, he's in stress, is my amal accepted? Have I fulfilled the requirements and the requisites of a banda? When a person doesn't have Allah, they'll leave their parents, they'll compromise their parents, they will compromise everything. Wal Fajir, Yamal bil Maasi, and a sinner, a Fajir and Fasik will commit guna upon guna. Oh, Amin, and he's contented and he's oblivious. Carry on, guna upon guna, oblivious of the one that's in the Asman. Qul, tell them, huwa al-qadiru ala ayyabatha alaykum adhaba. 
Allah has power, is qadir to send over you an adab min fawqikum, aw min tahti arjulikum, aw yalbisakum shia'a. Allah has power to wipe you from the heavens, whether you will send balls of lightning, where you will send floods from beneath your feet, where earthquakes and tremors will wipe you out. Oh Allah will bewilder you with discord and deception. And you'll see how you'll kill each other and you'll destroy each other. If you undergo that route, Allah is saying, Undur kayfa nusarrifu al-ayat la'allahum yafqahoon. See how we display, we reveal to you. See how things unfold. We are telling you, we are clearly explaining to you what's going to happen. La'allahum yafqahoon. So you can understand the father, the son walks out to the door and he says, you know what's going to happen when you walk out of that door? A, B, C, D, E, F, he's oblivious. And 40 years later, when his life on earth is a Jahannam, and he's staying with that girl because he wants to protect his reputation because the parents told him so. This khushu and kafiyat of akhirat needs to be overwhelming. وكان ابن مسعود يسيه وهو في المجلس ابن مسعود رضي الله عنه used to scream when he was in the majlis on the member Allah listen properly people Allah can send عذاب to you لو جاءكم عذاب من السماء لم يبقى منكم أحد Worry about this ayah. If Allah's azab had to come from the heavens, no one will survive. لو خسف بكم الأرض أهلككم. If the earth swallows you, everything, you and your wealth will be gone. He said the worst of this is وَيُذِيقَ بَعْدَكُمْ بَعْسَ بَعْضَ the worst is when Allah puts an oppressor amongst you and you fight amongst each other. That torment is perpetual. Rewrite of Sa'id bin Abi Huqas radiallahu anhu, we were with Nabi alayhi salatu wassalam. We passed by Masjid of Banu Mu'awiyah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa offered two rakat salat. We read salat. Then Nabi alayhi salatu wassalam made dua for long. What dua did he make? سَعَلْتُ رَبِّي ثَلَاثًا I made three duas. One, Allah يُهْلِكَ أُمَّتِي بِالْغَرَقِ Allah don't destroy my ummah through drowning in floods. Allah gave it to me. وَسَعَلْتُ أَلَّا يُهْلِكَ أُمَّتِي بِالسَّنَةِ Ya Allah save my, or protect my ummah on a fair mind. Allah gave it to me. وَسَعَلْتُهُ أَلَّا يَجْعَلَ بَعْسَهُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ that there shouldn't be violence, discord, deception against each other. Allah did not accept the dua. This is the time, this is the moment, this is the occasion to turn to Allah more. Badiru bil amali saban. Rush to good deeds before seven things happen. And we're watching all of that unfold now currently with COVID. هَلْ تَنْتَذِرُونَ إِلَّا فَقْرًا مُنْسِيًا Oh my Ummah, are you waiting for poverty to overwhelm you? That you will forget this Allah. Statistics are clear, how many unemployment? Now the Ummah has forgotten Allah. أَوْ غِنًا مُضْغِيًا Others are making their wealth an opportunity. Such wealth that has distracted them from Allah. أَوْ مَرَضًا مُفْسِدًا or such a sickness that you will not be able to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or haraman mufannidan or you are waiting for aging senility or mutan mujhizan or sudden death. We witnessing sudden death in front of our doorsteps. 
last two are left away dajjal those alamat of in free fall we've discussed the signs of qiyamah minus signs it's in free fall in front of us fasharru ghaibin yuntadhar then that is something which is not worth waiting for aw as-sa'atu fas-sa'atu adha wa amar an qiyamah for that is more disastrous dangerous and detrimental than anything else so don't wait for that opportunity may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq of changing our lives in these times of trials and tribulations the chapter we busy with was to do amal in a time of fasad and fitna innakum fi zamanin yu'in an ira man tara man taraka minkum ushra ma umira bihi we believes one tenth of what they've been commanded for halaka they will be destroyed referring to saba you cannot even leave 10% and you will be destroyed thumma yati zamanun a time will come in my umma man amila minhum bi ushri they practice on one tenth for i 100% we have to practice on but after that ulama explain even one tenth ma umira bihi naja they will triumph and be successful wa akhiru dawana alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin